Hey everyone, it's Char from Char's Fascination. Back today to say I'm really almost done with the skirting of the dress. Um, I do have the zipper on the skirting. Obviously the bodice is over there. Uh, mannequin half naked. Um, it's a mannequin. has no genitals so um anyway since they don't make this yellow dress the v1671 and big booty girl like myself uh look i admit it i got a boot haul. okay you don't make this pattern for big boot hot girls and uh they just like i said before i'm half black and half native american okay but still where's their their chests and their hips yeah 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 you see that's not given them and so what I had to do with this, because panel number nine would not sew up like it shows right here, wouldn't do that because, you know, try it around me, it fit fine around me, but panel number nine would not fully come together. So I had to alter this. And that will be somewhat like a petticoat has been sewn in, if that makes any sense to you. Um, so you, if you remember, I had that spare part of panel 12 laying around. Thank goodness, right? Because this dress has turned into a nightmare. So what I've done with this is pin it on here so far and I am about to actually sew that on. Now I've got most of this sewn on because this is the under panel number 12. This is the under and then this is a panel number 9. Okay so what I'm going to do when I'm done stitching that what it's going to do is it's going to come out pretty much like this. Well, no, that's not the middle. That That's that weird, um, yeah, they wanted a weird pleat in there. I don't know why. I shouldn't say pleat. A weird dart. They wanted some sort of weird dart in there. I'm like, this whole thing is not making no kind of sense. So, <sighs> Hmm. It's a good thing I have 3,000 feet of this. Um, I ran out of my other, the gray yesterday, but it seems to be this is not like black like my jacket. You see that? It's black, but it's not a true black thread. Um, but that's okay. I'm fine with that. It's going to work out. Uh, I didn't sleep all that well last night and then I got up because I couldn't sleep but guys epilepsy seriously sucks it's no joke it sucks I deal with this on a daily um but as you can see my work area is a lot cleaner this is the skirt of this is all a lot cleaner than it was. Um, so, yeah, pretty much. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and switch this back on. I want my friend to uh, use my phone. So, I have that in here with me because I'm letting my friend use it. People mess up his phone and he's a military veteran. I let him use my phone.
How nice that be. Um, so. Get that re-threaded. Um. I didn't, I don't think I did a haul video yesterday. It was no joke. Yesterday was horrible. Mm. I, hey, at least I got the last bag of Death Wish coffee off the shelf. There's still no toilet paper in the stores. Some doctors are actually coming forward and telling the truth about this whole disaster that's going on and what it's about. They're being told, shh, stop telling. Yeah, well, some doctors are a little sick of it, so they're starting to talk about the whole lie. We're starting to talk about the lie. I knew it was a lie. Go outside and breathe, please. What a lot of us are doing. Go outside and breathe for Christ's sake. Um, if you guys remember back in the day, if somebody had the chicken pox and we hadn't had it yet, what was supposed to happen? You were supposed to get exposed to the chicken pox. Anybody remember this? Because I hope you do. When you get the flu, you, you generally try to stay away from that. But it's an airborne contaminant. So it's cold. <sighs> and a lot of other crap. Just, just stop go outside and freaking breathe. I explained this to some people at the Dollar General yesterday. This whole thing is a lie. It's a lie. I would explain why it's a lie, but I'll probably get bumped off if I Google. Um... And I understand one of my favorite channels, Explore With Us, is trying to do a lot of cool videos lately. Um, love you guys, but Tyler from Secure Team Tent, oh my gosh, have you seen his pictures lately? Good God, I know I'm not thin, but he got chunky. Chunky like an oversized monkey. Now what in the what happened with that? But, okay. This usually gets really loud on this device, so I don't know if you guys want to be over here. Uh, there's really no room I have on my buttons. kind of crowding. Actually, I do need these buttons. Put on those buttons. Um... Opened up my packet of those colorful buttons and just put them in here. Although I have another container to put those in. I was going to use a colorful button on the front of this. But I decided, nah. It, it didn't match. So, if it does not match. It's not happening. It's just not going to happen. So, anyway, and you guys know I use a different color zipper if you've been keeping up. I've also been using my iron with Wendy has an iron. She does. Um, let's see. A lot of people have been doing their social distancing. You, you know what? Not really, because we've been on YouTube. What's more viral than that? <laughs> What's more viral? 
There you go. That's a virus joke. What's more viral than going on the internet and making a video? Okay. And the only reason I'm doing this like this, because when I flip it the other way, it's going to be a better seeming. had to do the better seam rip process um, when I did this last night I made a flu boo. So making that huge flu boo I can correct it now. I just wasn't in a very happy mood last night. Uh, it's the headaches. Dealing with this epilepsy is no joke. And then um, I have some things on its way. I did get my confirmation that my sleigh glam is on its way. Yeah, my other cosmetics, which is not a box. Well, it is, but it's not a subscription. Let's let's say it that way. It's not a subscription. Um, like I said, you guys have never seen me with any Jeffree Star cosmetics. But you know what? The blood is in me. That's a hint right there. And it comes in a bundle pack. A three. Oh, that's an even bigger one for you. So apparently, yesterday, I was one of the first people to buy the whole Jeffree Star Cosmetics for a change hoarders y'all hoarders are horrible maybe you were like oh my gosh I don't think I'll be able to get that well thank you for not thinking that um my the whole entire higher just for the eyeshadow palettes not the lippies they ran out of those um the blood sugar blue blood and and the blood lust palette are going to be shipped out on the 11th and should be here yeah, somewhere around the 20th. I give them some time. Because they, they have to get all that together at some point. It's California. California is a bit complicated. I used to live there. It can get a little complicated. I actually went to one of the same schools that Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson went to. Oh in Long Beach. Right? <sighs> it was a horrible school, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> Stevens Junior Junior High, aka now Junior Stevens uh, Middle School. I shouldn't call it middle school now. Um 
we all three went to that school. Obviously, different eras because, you know, Jeff says he's younger than me, but we'll let that go. Shane, on the other hand, yeah, Shane's younger. He's cool people. Dude, pick up your palette and your, your brushes. Now, I did get three brushes from the Dollar General yesterday. Might as well talk about them while I'm sewing. Um, before I upload uh, this particular one. See, like, this is gliding so fast now. Um, I'm going to try to be done with this whole thing either today or tomorrow. It's just I'm tired. I've pushed myself to the point that this thing has me exhausted. You know? Don't ever exhaust yourself. It's not a good thing. you're doing a project and you feel tired, put it down. Put it down. Um, I said I was doing this for their competition, but it's if it's going to cost you your health, put it down. And then you can just do it because you feel like doing it. Now you're thinking that I have this seam up here. Well, no, I have this open before I attach it to the back. Now this is an outer panel. So um, I can actually attach it as at the waistbanding. Um, I will end up having to put in a button in the front. Kind of weird, right? They didn't want to the front in the butt in the front in the butt. Yeah, I'm brain farting. They didn't want a zipper in the front, but I have limited mobility. So it's going in the front. I'm not sorry to say that. I'm, I'm out of wet bobbin, of course. That's okay. I can at least show you guys before I spin a fresh bobbin. Right? Okay. Before I spin that fresh bobbin, um, I can show you what this is going to look like now that it's sewn on here most of the way, like 98% um, sewn on. Uh, okay, so this is not going to interfere with that pocket right here. You guys know there's a pocket. Now this is on the back, so it's not going to interfere with that pocket at all. It's not going to interrupt it. That's cleaner than how I had it last night, which was like a wrecked mess. Um, yeah, that's a lot cleaner. Um, so what I will do later is a sew and show. It's like show and tell, but it's a sew and show. So how I'm going to do this, you're like, wait, yeah, how you can do that? I'm going to flip this part inside out. Like, what? Yeah. I'm going to do, and then I'm going to even up the ends of the skirting at the bottom. Um, which means I'm going to have to hang it on Manny Quinn. 
and do that because I don't have anybody to help me with that. So, um, uh, I'm going to try to make my day better. I'm dealing with one of my headaches. And I don't want that to make it seem like I'm being Debbie Downer, and I'm not, because I just have to deal with it. Um, and I now have an array of buttons for an array of different things. These are my, my khaki and different color brown buttons. You know, like there's some chocolate browns in here, some ones that look like wood grain. As you can see right there. Um, and obviously that's a khaki colored one. You know, Jake from State Farm would have that button. Or this one. <laughs> that's right. Or this one right here. Although that one's a little bit wood grain. But, you know, Jake from State Farm. Oh, I didn't notice this button right here before. It kind of has this, like, funky, cool design on it. That one right there. That's kind of cool. Look at that. It has some sort of floral design going on. That's kind of cool. Ooh, I have some fabric that would go nice with... I always think... Always have your your think tank going, and as you can see, I have all sorts of different sizes in here. That's always nice to have is different size buttons. Um, let me know if any of my videos inspire you. I've never asked you to do that before. So that's new too. Um, so anyway. I, I'm also tired. Um, yeah, I'm also tired. How many of you are tired just because you're tired of being inside? Go outside and get some air. Just do it. Um, what's the best way to clear everything up? Go outside and get some fresh air and let your head clear. Except for me, it's I haven't taken uh, I haven't taken epilepsy medicine or my thyroid meds in months, and I'm feeling the effect. My headaches are worse. Yeah, my headaches are worse. So um, I hate. I hate pills. I really do. I hate pills. I'm not getting cranial surgery. No, you're not giving me a lobotomy. No, thank you. <laughs> um, so, yeah. After I'm done with this dress, I might give sewing a break for like a few minutes and perhaps pull out a canvas. I don't know. We will see. Um, and until then, stay happy, stay healthy, stay positive, and as always, stay blessed. Don't mind me, guys. I'm just like... Oh, if I close my eyes, I might fall asleep. We don't want that. I gotta upload this. So, I will see you guys later for a sewing show. And if you want to know... That's a TV antenna right there, one of those analog ones. That thing works. 24 channels. So I'm not on a really good day, I get 27. <laughs> um, I just have it sitting over there. I'm trying to clean up my space a little more because I'm trying to make some room so that I can save for a cabinet that I want to put all my materials in. You know, all the stuff that I always have stacked somewhere. Currently, currently, they're over here on the sofa under that blanket in case an animal is let back here on porpoise. On porpoise. Um, I won't have to deal with that soon.
Anyway, I'll see you guys later for Sewing Show. Have a beautiful day. And go outside and get some air. <laughs>